I'm Lizzie with Long Distance Gamers and today I'm going to be unboxing Stonewall Uprising. This is of course a special edition cover. I got the LGBTQI Pride one. Uh, so the difference is this side and this flag is different. And of course it shows the LGBTQI on the front. Okay, so this is for two players. It does have a solo mode. So, yay. That. Okay, so uh, it's an asymmetrical deck building game play as the pride trying to advance the gay civil rights movement or as the man trying to slow their progress. Advance through the decades from Stonewall to the AIDS crisis and secure your faction's place in history. So it's a deck building game that uses cards based off of historical events and people uh, to impact how public support, individual support, and institutional support changes across the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Build your deck and gain important advantages, but do so. But doing so may be an opportunity to your foe. By the 1980s, the toll on the AIDS crisis begins to mount, making the consequences of the struggle even more important. And this is by Catastrophe Games. So this is kind of like a uh, just printed here in the U.S. and on demand sort of kind of, I think, if I remember right. So the quality is not 100% great on this, but... I got it because it had a, a very important subject and I definitely would rather play this solo because who wants to play the man trying to fight against progress? So there's these cards. Uh, that will happen and lots and lots and lots of just different things in the different decades. These cards for print on demand is pretty good quality. I might want to sleeve them, but I don't feel like I have to sleeve them. And then here we have the awesome cards. So here we have the two different ones. So we have, you know, the ones fighting for progress, for pride. And then we have the state or the man. You know, this is government bad people. <laughs> so we have Dr. Anthony Fauci for first. Uh, AIDS, the CDC, ACT UP, Larry Kramer, Understanding AIDS, Pride Parades, which are important, uh, Homosexuality Removed from the, uh, oh yeah, it used to be considered a mental illness, uh, White Knight Rides, yeah. Okay, and then we have some more. Freedom of Speech, Openly LGBT Friendly Businesses. Marsha P. Johnson, which I watched uh, a Crash Course for Dummies or Crash Course on YouTube. It has a, uh, for that, for the Black uh, History, she was talked about in there as well. Okay, Rights of Assembly, Liberal Wild Deals, Kinsley Reports. Yeah, which, I mean, these do have like little historical notes on the bottom, which is awesome. And uh, here we have the players for prides. Oh, well, you guys might want to see the man cards, right? These awful, boring ones. Yeah, so it's really dark ones. You know, the Reagan administration, huh? Lack of blood testing, you know, before it was well known. Like a lot of things, unfortunately, there's need to people to learn, but uh, people didn't want to learn about the AIDS epidemic because they considered it only a uh, gay disease. Police brutality, police raids, yeah, that's not still uh, common sometimes. Thankfully, not anymore. Post-war, government approval, established practices. There's a lot of those. Okay, and then we have the man play sheet which these are really nice quality play sheets so has your deck your discard obviously you want to play as the pride and the pride does have a dice pool which is why they are a little bit longer then we have lots of dice and we have some punch boards which they're punching out really nicely because there's already one punched out so gay, proud, and angry. So whoever has initiative, this would be up versus family values, which is, of course, the you know, conservative way of uh, hiding the, the rigots. 
we're gonna put that on the gay proud and angry one yeah but these are nice feeling too nice and thick oh was i supposed to have two of these Oh, this is a wooden one. Maybe that was a Kickstarter stretch goal or something. Slightly bigger and wooden. Very nice. And then we have ah, lots of dice. Some of these cubes that will go on the main board. I do love these dice. They're really pretty. Okay. Oh, uh, you might want to see. So I you can get these if you're winning in certain things and they'll help you out. Stonewall's 10th anniversary. You know, obviously it's meant that, you know, the, the pride ones, they they fill you with joy. And then the state ones, you're going to feel like a bad person when you play these. And well, you should. Okay. Now we have a few more things in here. Okay. So we have the rules, rules, and this is like just printed out paper, stapled. So, but hey, it looks like it shows how it is. Overview, play sequence, different things. How to do the market phase? Okay, winning the game, ending, and then the history behind it. And solo rules, you which you play as pride, so you don't have to play as the state. Okay, and then yeah, these are I, these are really nice feeling. Okay, and then we have the main board; they'll go in between each player. And you try to get so many. You want to get it to your side versus the state side. And then the different cards will go in the different areas and you can at the end of each round you can get more cards if you save cards they'll help you out you'll put the prettier one on top okay but that is what you get in stonewall uprising so i found out about this game uh shortly before origins 2022 because that's so uh, they were able to play test this a little bit. I actually got to play with the designer, Taylor Shush, Shush however you pronounce that. He uh, talked a little bit about the game with me. And because this was, you know, printed in America, the um, it was able to get really fast. So I'm really looking forward to playing it. And oh, look at the sides. I didn't notice that when I was unboxing it. And then black and black. But I do really look forward to playing this side. Uh, this definitely has a theme that touches very close to home. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully I can win as the pride person, right? Beat the state every time. That's what we need to do. Uh, but until next time, just remember to have fun, be present, and be you. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to us. We would love to hear from you. Also, if you find value in our content, please like, comment, or subscribe. Let a friend or family member know that we exist. Help us spread our channel and bring remote gaming to a table near you. Thank you very much, and have a great day.